In Singapore, a total of 52 mosques under the banner of Salam SG Korban are offering overseas Korban for Muslims who wish to perform the Korban ritual for Idilana. For most mosques in Singapore, the okay, we are at uh, Sembawang. Uh, this is one of the last Kampong mosques that we have in Singapore. Uh, as you can see, it's very serene down here. The air is better, fresh air. Yeah? Come here, you don't feel like you're in Singapore, actually. Yeah. So, you know, we find that this location is one of the most suitable places in Singapore. It's away from public and we are trying to uphold animal welfare so that the animals don't get stressed, you know. The compound here is very big. We are holding now 500 animals uh, and they, are, they can roam freely in this area. It's been four years since we last had livestock in Singapore because of the COVID, yeah. So after the COVID, uh, it's, a new pro it's a new system that we are having whereby it's only private operators that are doing the corporate operations, uh, but we still have to go through a tender process, which was by the authorities. Moss have appointed accredited partners to ensure the Korban meat comply with religious practices. Korban meat donated will be shared with zakat beneficiaries, migrant transient workers, and other underserved groups and families. Hi, uh, my name is Fazli. I'm the director of Kidma LT Private Limited. Uh, so we are one of the partners who have uh, made this event uh, come together. Lah. Yes, uh, We are very happy and very ex excited that this has come together. We have uh, come a long way since we started planning in September, October last year. And we had to go through a lot of challenges and I think Alhamdulillah, you know, uh, uh, everything is going smoothly and we are very happy that we are able to uh, provide this opportunity for uh, Singaporeans to do korban in, their, in our own country. Uh, I was here since uh, 6 a.m. You know, before yeah, subuh. So we expect uh, we have 250 sheep, which is going to be slaughtered today. So every sheep uh, is probably a family of four or five. So every hour we are uh, doing maybe uh, 15, 16. Uh, so you can imagine uh, 10 times five. That's already 50 people here. Uh, it's going to be all the way until 7 p.m. Uh, in this mosque alone, I believe we have 80 volunteers and workers uh, uh, get making sure everything, the process uh, goes well. Uh. What happened is because uh, most of the new mosques, they are, they are in residential areas. And uh, when you have an operation like this, of course, you know, uh, the crowd is there and also, you know, with the livestock, of course, you know, there's a little bit of smell, things like that. Uh, Korban has always uh, been a very special uh, event in Singapore, especially before COVID, yeah. Uh, before COVID, we have 26 locations that does Korban. We used to import in approximately almost 4,000 heads. But now, since we are only doing at one location, which is Masjid uh, Pertempatan, we're doing the Australian uh, ship. And we have another location, which is at Chua Chukang, the Alfredo's Mouse whereby we are processing 180 premium goods from Mahe Dairies. Okay, the meat uh, will be packed uh, into one kilo packages and be distributed to the needy. Uh, we are also giving it to some association who really needs the meat. Here is wishing all our Muslim viewers a happy Idol Allah. May this aid bring you and your family immense happiness and blessings. This is Daniel Razak, See Today, Singapore.